She may not be aware of the practice in the UK where even if a victim uh, wants to not to proceed with the case, provided she has signs of violence on her, the police refuse to, 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 to uh, relent and to... Cons Honorable yes, Honorable something Honorable. I said wrong? Allow me. Allow yes. Me. Your question is related under the Protection from Domestic yes. Violence Act, yes. which is local. Yes. You are referring to... Of course, because if we don't... But she has taken... Excuse me, Mr. Speaker, I don't understand. Because no. she herself has taken Mr. So Mark Tyler question. from Australia. Put a question. Okay, she has taken Mr. Mark Tyler from Australia. So I'm not allowed to mention UK. She can mention You're Australia. Now, come on, Mr. Reply. Speaker. Be reasonable. Be reasonable. She I'm mentions giving, Australia. Listen, I cannot mention UK. Honorable Libya of the yeah. Opposition, yeah. you listen. I'm on my feet. I'm, I'm when you put a question, you don't have the right to refer because your question is related to a specific act, Domestic Violence Act, which is local act. Mr. Speaker, Wait, you are going lengthy in your statements and declarations. I ask you to put a specific question related to this Domestic Violence Act. Go ahead. You will realize that she opened the debate when she talked about everything else apart from murders. So I'm, I'm sure you have listened to that. Now, this is the question. Question is, the police, her statement is the police cannot force people. I'm t telling her that internationally, police refuse uh, to relent on cases where there are specific signs of violence. And I'm asking her whether she should not insist that the police should proceed whatever pressure the victim may be under in her household. That is the question. Is it a valid question? Right. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, sir, no, I can. Too late to learn. <laughs> Mr. Sorry. Speaker, sir. You wow. answer. Mr. Speaker, sir, I can reassure the House and the Leader of the Opposition that. You answer. That any victim that is at the level of the police station is accompanied by a, a, a team comprising of family welfare protection officers or psychologists. Eventually, will uh, upon issuing of a, a, a form will undergo a medical checkup. So what I'm trying to say, Mr. Speaker, sir, is that according to the protocol that my ministry and the Brigade Pour la Protection de la Famille have already signed and uh, uh, applied, we work together. But at the end of the day, as much as we can encourage the victim to lodge a case, as much as we can, that the only one thing that we cannot do is to force the victim to lodge a complaint. I think the Honorable Leader of the Opposition can appreciate what I'm saying. Well, the public will appreciate that you are much su less successful encouraging people than previous persons who are in the same post that you are at. I'd like to ask the Honorable no, Minister the whether, position, in fact, what is the, the matter position, now? What is the, the matter position. now? Lisa, the yes. Position. You can't make insinuations. You can't compare the minister with this government, the other government. Don't do that. Apologize for that. She, can. she compared us to Apologize before. For that. She compared to 2004 to 2016. No, 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 no. Why did you not raise it? You are talking Why about did you minister. not raise it when she said 2004 to 2016? You are talking about minister. I'm talking about government, not minister. Now, oh. Mr. Speaker, this I'd like to ask the noble minister, with your kind permission, let me do my constitutional duty, please. I am doing my yes, constitutional duty. Yes, let me do my constitutional duty. I've been appointed under this constitution to ask a PNQ. Please let me get on with it. I am regulating yes. the business I of the house. I have a constitutional duty to ask this question to the Honourable Minister. And now, I'd like, to, uh, I'd, like to, uh, I'd like to ask the Honourable Minister, following my constitutional duty, to ask a PNQ every Tuesday. I'd like to ask the Honourable Minister, why is it that we know that in fact deaths occur, murders occur, because victims go back to the household and they are killed by their husband many, 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 many times like this. Only women have died, Mr. Speaker. Now, I'm trying to be calm, you see. Now, the problem is on the question of um, occupation orders, where in fact the, 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 the husband is told to go away and to leave the house. Only two, only two, Honorable Minister, uh, occupation orders were issued in the whole year 2022. This is about a third and less than had been issued in previous years. There's an issue, you see, of occupation orders. Occupation orders were introduced in law in 2016 by a PMSD minister. Now, why is it that under this government, 
I didn't say minister, this government, you will appreciate, this government, there's only been two occupation orders issued, and I'm told by magistrates that the major reason is that your ministry, your officers that accompany the persons, do not ask for occupation orders.